What is happening, my people? This is Tim Dodd with The Tim Dodd Show, and today I want to talk to you about how to respond when you're on a sales call and the prospect says, I love it. Let me talk to my wife. Let me talk to my spouse. Let me talk to my CFO. Let me talk to my dog. Let me talk to my cat. Whoever they need to talk to. I'm going to show you not only how to respond to that, but I'm going to show you how to do a pre-objection, objection handling, so that you can near eliminate this from actually happening. But before we jump in, make sure to subscribe. Why should you subscribe? Well, every time I drop a new video, there are tons of value in those videos. But also, to one of the first five subscribers that comments on that video, I give one of the Pima 5x5 Client Closing Systems, which is a $2,500 value. And I don't want you missing out on any of this great content or that course. If you don't already know me, my name is Tim Dodd. I run Pima. At Pima, what we do for our clients, whether they're solo entrepreneurs or small sales reps, all the way up to teams with hundreds of sales reps doing hundreds of millions a year, we get them appointments. We warm those appointments up with automation and we manage their sales teams to help make sure that their sales teams are closing deals. Why do I say that? Well, it's not to brag, it's to say that this works from small companies to medium companies to large companies selling all types of products. It works very well because what I'm gonna show you today is just basic human psychology. So you're on the call, goes well, prospect loves, oh my gosh, this is so good, it's so perfect. Let me talk to my wife, let me run this by the CFO, I know they're gonna be on board. And now you've just stalled the call. So how do you how do you handle this? Well, first off, let me talk to you about what to do early on in the call, way before this objection, so that you can near eliminate this from happening. What you're gonna do is you're gonna ask the buyer this question, be ready to write this down. Uh, Mr. Buyer, besides yourself, who else is involved in the decision-making process? Oh, well, you know, I would need to run it by my, my accountant and, and, you know, my, maybe my dog. Okay, okay, you know, my wife, I'd probably have to run it by my wife too, you know. Well, whoever you're, they're running it by. Now you know early in the call, if they want to make a decision, they're going to have to set up another call. Okay, great. So, you know, is your wife around today? Like, if, if this is something you like, you want you like, do, do we want to talk to her or are we going to set up a follow-up call? Oh, it'll probably be a follow-up call. Okay, great, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to try to close it on this call. I'm going to give the presentation and then all this stuff, but I'm going to leave some of it for next call so I can close on next call. Now to go, nope, nope, I'm, I'm the decision maker. Now I know I have pretty much near eliminated them from bringing that objection up uh, at the end. You know, have you ever been on a call uh, and, and if somebody's trying to sell you something and you get to the end and you're like, uh, you're like, it's not that I don't like the product, I just, you know, and I don't need to actually talk to my wife or my account, my CFO, but I don't want to make a decision right now. So I, w I'll, I will do that. I will do that. I'll just say, you oh, know, let me run it by my wife. I don't need to run it by my wife. My wife trusts me to make good decisions and I trust her. Like, I don't need to do that, but I will tell a sales rep that. Have you ever told a salesperson that was selling you something, something similar like that, where you kind of, uh, I need to think about it, or you weren't giving them the real objection? Well, your prospects are doing that to you. So asking this question up front will help near eliminate that. But what happens if you do that and everything's lined up perfectly? No, I'm the decision maker. If we like it, I'm the one that decides and they still say, let me run it by my accountant, my dog, my CFO, whoever. What do you say then? Oh, definitely, this is what I'm gonna say. Oh yeah, definitely, great. I think that's a great idea. I mean, I, I run everything by my wife. Uh, I run everything by my account. I, I make sure that Mr. Wiggles, my dog, or cat or whatever, I make sure that everything I do, I run by them, right? Okay, perfectly. Now, let me ask you a question. Does, does your wife uh, know that you're on this call today? Yeah, yeah, she knows on this call. And you guys been looking for the solution uh, for, for how long? Oh, we, we've been we've been kind of looking at this for you know a few months. Okay, great. So so you've been looking for a, a solution to this problem for a few months now. Yeah, yeah. And and your wife knows you're on the call trying to find a solution. Yeah, yeah. So if the only thing that changed is that you actually found that solution, you guys started getting the leads and the sell support you needed to grow your business. Don't you think your wife would be happy that you found the right solution and made a decision? Now, you still might keep getting objections, but this is the most powerful way to keep that deal moving forward. And if you have to set up a second call, you do, but this will work in many, many cases. So imagine if all of your calls, you pre-eliminated that, and then if you still got it, then you use this thing. You're gonna eliminate so many, so many wasted calls that would have never closed on, on a deal because they would use the wife stall objection. So make sure to use this, um, both the pre-objection handling and the post-objection handling. Also, 
make sure to go to the description. I have some bonus trainings that download in there. If you want to skyrocket your, your business, if you want to skyrocket your income in the next 90 days, go down there. I've got some great resources for you. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like and comment. Why? Well, it helps us show up, but you don't care about us. You want you, want you man, so why should you subscribe to this? That's because every time I drop a new video, I give one of our Pima 5x5 client closing systems to one of the first five subscribers that comments below. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you stay to the end to get the bonus, make sure to stay to the very end where I'm gonna have the links on there that will give you access to our whole objection handling playlist series here on YouTube. Again, this is Tim Dodd with The Tim Dodd Show, and I'll see you soon.